All right, welcome back. Uh, so what we're going to learn about this time is entry boxes. Entry boxes are a place where a user can type in text uh, and actually provide things. Let's go look at an example. Uh, so M4E is a text entry box example. Uh, let's just go ahead and run it here and see see what it does uh, to go with. So it uh, prints out this box that I can type in. So this is the entry box. Uh, so let's just look at what it does here. So it's got root. We know root. Uh, it made a frame with padding 10 and it gridded it. It made something called my entry box. So this is new. Um, and it's called uh, TTK. So everything uses the TTK dot entry. And you say, hey, who's my parent? Who do I go on? I go on frame one. Uh, grid me up. Um, and then we've got a button down here. Uh, and this is kind of interesting. The button is going to work with the entry box. And the way that works is that we call a function, we call print contents, and you pass in the entry box. Note that you um, pass in the object that is the entry box, and then the callback takes care of getting the value out, and that is the best practice to do it. Um, and so let's go look at print contents and see what's going to happen here. So if we go down to print contents, uh, it has the entry box. I'm going to be working with that entry box. Uh, and what it does is it, it takes the entry box, uh, gets whatever I typed out. So to say this is the text uh, I typed. And then what it does is it gets the text out and then it just prints it, right? So whenever I click print entry, it's just going to show up down there. Uh, cool. So this is the text I typed. Uh, and we'll say hello. Uh, and it says uh, hello down there. Um, by the way, it doesn't clear uh, the entry box. Uh, it just kind of leaves it up. Um, we'll talk later about how you could if you wanted to clear the entry box. In fact, there's an example in the modules um, where you click a button um, and it sends that message out and then clears the entry box for you. Um, so we'll, we'll show you that later. Um, but you can see that here's the, uh, the idea. So there's two new concepts here. There's how do you make one, uh, which is pretty straightforward. And then how do you get the value out? And you just say dot get. And what it gives you with dot get, by the way, is always a string. So if you're given a, if you're typing in a number, um, you'll have to actually cast it uh, to an integer. Uh, let's just go ahead and show that really quick. So um, if I know that I'm going to be given a number, um, I can just cast it to an int and then print that out. Um, and so, and just to prove that it really is an int, I can say like. Uh, plus equals 10 more, right? Uh, so now I'm going to give it a number. Um, and by the way, if I were to give it a string like Bob, uh, my program would crash. Uh, and that's that's okay. That's expected, right? So if I, if I put this in, what I'm going to print should be 52, right? So I put it in and I print 52. Uh, just to show it, it crashed horribly. So if I put in Dave, uh, boom, kaboom, right? Uh, so invalid, literal, yeah, expect that. Uh, cool. So uh, that kind of shows you some of the syntax. Let's go do uh, some things in M5. Uh, so M5 says, after reading and understanding the M4 module, uh, put an entry box on the frame. All right, I can do that. So here's my entry box. And plop it right there. Uh, my entry box, eh, that seems like a good name, right? Uh, and what we do is we um, put an entry box on there and then a second button. Grab another button. Here's my button. Uh, and let's see what this button does before we decide how to title this button. Um, so this button is going to either print hello um, or uh, if the string is OK, it's going to print goodbye. So, oh, sorry, say that. Let me, let me read that one more time. Um, so it prints hello if it's OK, uh, but otherwise it prints goodbye. So. Uh, we'll call this button uh, my hello goodbye button. A uh, little verbose for a button name, but that's okay. Uh, so I've got my hello goodbye button. Um, and then uh, for the text on the button, uh, we'll just say test for okay. So we're testing to see if it's okay or not. So this entry box uh, could have been called like okay or not, right? Let's see it first, and then we'll do the callback. Um, and so let's see it. So it's just going to be a giant kind of like um, one in order. So what grid does by default, if you just say grid, it just puts them, um, you know, stacking down the page. So here's our old say hello button. It still works. Um, we've got our, our new box. 
Um, and then we've got our test for OK. Test for OK doesn't do anything yet. That's expected. Great. So things are going good. Uh, what we need, though, is we need a callback uh, on the hello, goodbye button. Uh, being very lazy, I'm going to copy uh, from above. Uh, and then I'm going to remember to modify it. So I'm going to say hello, goodbye button. Uh, I want to hook up a callback for you. Uh, and I want you to call a function for me. Uh, and I'm going to make this function, uh, we'll just call it um, uh, check uh, for OK. Uh, I guess I'll call it check instead of test. Uh, check for OK. What that function is going to need is it's going to need the entry box. So I'm going to pass to that function uh, the entry box. Let's go write that function uh, called check for OK. So down here, I'm going to say check for OK, and then this is my entry box. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the contents of that entry box. And the way you get the contents uh, is you say dot get. It's kind of interesting that it was smart enough to figure out that it was an entry box. I'm kind of surprised by that, by the way, but it figured it out. And then what I want to do is, uh, is I want to print either hello or goodbye. Um, so if, if it's OK, then we print hello. So we'll just say uh, if uh, contents is equal to uh, OK, for whatever reason, I use single quotes there. It doesn't matter, single quotes or double quotes. Uh, I'll print uh, hello. And then for anything else, I'll print uh, goodbye. Uh, cool, that looks good. So we uh, added an entry box, and we saw how to get the contents here. And then we use the contents in a simple way. Uh, so let's go ahead and run it. Uh, and so now if I say OK in this box, uh, it says hello. Uh, but if I say something different, so OK, AY, uh, doesn't matter what I type, um, it's going to always say goodbye um, unless it is the value OK, then it'll say hello. And my hello button just always says hello. Cool, so uh, there's still a couple more to-dos uh, inside of here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you do those uh, by yourself. So um, we did this one together, uh, so it's now done. Uh, I'm going to let you do to-do seven uh, on your own, so just kind of um, finish it before you start the next video. I'm not going to show the solution. I just I think you can do it. Uh, but we want another entry, a third button, um, and then what we want to do is we want to um, have that one, uh, take the string that's in the first entry box um, and print it n times. Now you will need to use this trick on your second entry box of converting it to an integer to make that work. Um, and you'll have to make your own function um, and a short little for loop in that function. Uh, so that's to do seven. Uh, and then to do eight um, is if you wanted to try to do some other interesting things with your GUI, uh, feel free, knock yourself out, right? Um, and you can also look at the, uh, the more examples if you just want to try to do something else. All right, so I'm going to cut this video off here, uh, finish to do seven, uh, optionally work to do eight, uh, and when we come back next time, we'll talk about grid a little bit. All right, knock it out. See you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.